uh, I need to get your opinion on something real quick. And of course, with the title of the video, you kind of know where I'm going, what I'm going to be asking. But let's do a recap real quick of the last couple of weeks. It's pretty crazy, right? We've had uh, police involved shooting in Minnesota, a guy in his car. Then we had Alton Sterling, the police involved shooting in where a guy got shot in Louisiana. Then the sniper firing into a crowd shooting Dallas police officers fatally. Um, then you had the one in Baton Rouge. Ba is it Baton Rouge or Baton Rouge? Uh, I'm trying to speak French because it is in Louisiana and they do have French Quarter there. Um, and I can't really speak French unless I say, well, so we, I go take a poo poo. Uh, but I think it's Baton Rouge. But anyway, they had a police involved shooting there. And I was watching that one on the news and uh, three police officers uh, fatally shot. And on that one, I was watching the news, conflicting information was coming in from the, the reporters, uh, whether it was an attack on the police, whether they targeted the, the Louisiana police officers, or if it was a, uh, they were reacting to a crime or they were responding is the word I'm looking for. They were responding to a crime and just happened to walk into a shootout with suspects where the police officers got wounded. Um, so it's kind of, I didn't really uh, get what happened there and they the news reporters why am I stumbling over this the news reporters were kind of conflicted as well like okay what's what was going on there I don't think anybody really knew at the time that I watched that on the news but we had that police involved shooting then in San Bernardino California I'm gonna go over two shootings one was police involved one was not the one that was not was a house party shooting a guy shoots into a crowd at a house party shooting five people. I don't think any fatalities at that one, uh, if my memory serves me. And um, then, of course, in San Bernardino, California, same weekend, guy allegedly steals a car. There was a traffic stop initiated. He gets tased, runs from the cops, has a sawed-off shotgun, and is somehow he gets shot by the police, and it was fatal. Now, I'm going to put a link to a channel below, High Desert Community Watch. I watch their videos all the time. And with High Desert Community Watch, um, they have made two videos on that incident. They were on scene, that, that uh, blogger. And I watched one of the videos uh, where he was saying that they shot the guy in the back. I don't know I, what happened. However, here's what I want to get to real quick. Let's just get this blog out of the way. So we've had Minnesota, two in Louisiana, one in Dallas, two in San Bernardino, California, just in the last week and a half or so. Now, there may be more that I've missed. I'm going to ask a couple of quick questions. But before I do that, let me preface these questions with the fact that I like that, armed, uh, that citizens are armed. I really do. Because I'd rather have, uh, if I end up in a situation where a guy comes in with a gun to rob people, I would like to have an armed citizen pull a gun out and say, look, you can lay down right now or you can get shot. But you can wait for the police to get here um, because I have my gun on you. I'd rather have that than just some guy come in and start shooting and nobody can do anything about it. Now, there might be some that oppose me on that, and that's fine. That's the first thing I want to ask all of you. Do you think that with all of these shootings, we need tougher gun laws, tighter, stricter gun control, or will that have an adverse effect to being able to protect ourselves as citizens? What do you think about that, guys? I want to know. I want to hear from all of you. Second question is, are these incidences with... Uh, police involved shootings is it incidences or incidents um i don't know it's early i guess i should drink more coffee before i start blogging but with all of these occurrences do you are they things that have been going on for several years now and we just really kind of report it in the news uh lackadaisically and but all of a sudden you know we're, we're bringing media attention to it like this or do you feel that there's just all of a sudden a new wave of gun crimes? We probably don't even have any 
idea of what I just asked. My second question is this. So are these gun crimes things that have been happening for a while and the, the media is just now putting attention on it? They're just now saying, oh, hey, look, we need to focus on this. Or are all of these gun crimes that are happening a new wave? Like they all of a sudden just people are just all of a sudden out of freaking control with guns. Is, it, is this a new thing or has it been happening for a while and the media is just now turning their attention to it? I want to know what you think, guys. I've asked some pretty uh, general and specific questions. I want to get your opinions on those. I want to get some answers from you. Make a video blog and answer me or just answer me in the comments below. I want to know because I want to hear from you guys. Let's go. Or is the media just tired of Hillary and Donald and maybe it's just time for something else? Let me know.